And Poppy, in the interview um, uh, for The Guardian, you described yourself as having been kind of the ultimate dutiful daughter. You said, I wasn't allowed to do anything. I never did the sneaking out. I never changed my clothes before school. I just accepted it. I mean, I imagine the podcast and all its kind of glorious sex positive frankness is perhaps a bit at odd with that. At what point did you stop being the kind of dutiful daughter and what was the kind of catalyst that prompted that shift? Um, so ironically, I was the brown Hermione Granger back in the day. And then I was forced into a marriage um, and that went horrifically badly and that was the catalyst because that's when I realised that I could never keep my parents happy, keep the community happy uh, because South Asians, we have this sort of mantra, which is what will people think? You know, we're very collectivist, we're not very individualistic. And that was the catalyst for when I realised I have to live my life and not the life that my my mum and dad want me to lead. And, you know, we, we, we do this podcast, and, you know, we, we are, we think we're funny, we think we're hilarious. Um, You're really fucking funny. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, but, it, but it comes at a cost, you know, like uh, Rubina was talking about her mum. My mum doesn't even speak English. She doesn't even know I do this podcast. I do it in secret. And you said how actually, in the course of doing the podcast, it's also actually helped you both become far more accepting of lots of elements about yourselves. And you've almost been kind of, I imagine it's almost like kind of, therapy that you've worked through perhaps some of the internalized ideas you still held on to maybe at an unconscious level around sex and sexuality what were some of those ideas and how has the podcast really helped you kind of work through them oh my god when you're muslim and brown fucking hell when do you where do you start um there was a lot of unlearning that we had to do i had to do i thought i was pretty progressive and open-minded about sex but i did a fucking bdsm test it turns out i'm vanilla as fuck <laughs> And, you know, I'm like, oh, no, not for me. And, and, and I think do, to just to, through just like talking to each other, having guests, realizing that people want and you know, different things. I, I, I think it wasn't so much my judgment of everyone else. It was my judgment of me, self. of myself. And I think those are the kind of shackles that I'm like, Ugh. and then you hear the anal episode and you're like, she's gone through a fucking journey. <laughs> <laughs> she really doesn't judge herself. In fact, she needs to shut the fuck up. I feel like I'm quite an active sexual partner. Like, I, I do the reading, I do the literature, I watch the porn, I do the... Mm -mm. <laughs> I am a Miley Granger. You know, like, I don't know. And I, I think, like, sex is such a, like, a really important part of every relationship I've ever been with because I'm like, we need to be, like, connecting on a physical level because I'm quite physical. Like, I enjoy that part of it. 